Where in Hamilton, Ontario should you live? Where's the best neighborhood? I get asked this question all the time from people from this channel. Hamilton, Ontario is a very big city. There's over 800,000 people currently living here. And the truth is, where you should live is really dependent on your lifestyle. Now, of course, there's areas that you should avoid, areas that aren't so safe. And I have done a video on this channel about those areas which created a lot of conversation and discussion on where the best areas are and where you should live. So let's talk about that. If you're somebody that really enjoys the hustle and bustle, being in the busy areas, maybe you don't have a car or you do not drive, you're probably gonna wanna choose somewhere like downtown Hamilton, where you have most of the public transit and you're very close to the GO station. You can walk to work because there's a lot of options nearby in downtown Hamilton and you also have those public transit stations and you can take the GO train out of the city to go to work and easily come back. So those commutes are there for you. Now you also have a ton of restaurants, a ton of stores, you have Jackson Square nearby, all sorts of shopping, pretty much everything you need at your disposal. So you don't have to go far and you'll save on a lot of time with traveling and it's just super convenient being right in the middle of downtown Hamilton. Now, if you're a student and you're coming here for school, which tons and tons of people do from all around Ontario and even all around the world, then you're probably gonna wanna live in West Hamilton right near McMaster University. You have the hospital there too where a lot of people come for employment. So being very close to McMaster University is where a lot of the students are and a lot of people that are being employed by the hospital. This area is predominantly surrounded by students living in Westdale, Ainsley Woods, and the surrounding areas of the school. You have the bus route there as well, which is really convenient because it's on the main street and it's also a very safe neighborhood. It just might not be for families so much because there's a lot of students running around there. It can get loud at times, but there is pockets where there are families that do live because it is a very beautiful neighborhood. Now, one of my personal favorites is the Hamilton Mountain. You guys have probably heard about it because it's a very beautiful place to live. It's a very safe environment up on the Hamilton Mountain. And you also have that gorgeous view looking down onto the water and all the surrounding neighborhoods. Now, the Hamilton Mountain has a lot to offer from the stores, to the restaurants, pretty much everything that you need at your disposal. Now it is the more expensive neighborhood to live because of these reasons and many other reasons, but there are a lot of different housing options that you can choose from. So maybe you're a first time home buyer that's looking for a bungalow to help ease some of those expenses and you wanna live in one unit and rent out the other unit in the basement or upper level, that option is there for you. There's tons of bungalows on the Hamilton Mountain and a lot of people do invest there and live there for those reasons. There's also a lot of family friendly neighborhoods. There's a few pockets as well where there's new build homes and more luxurious homes on the Hamilton Mountain, which are more expensive of course, but they are absolutely beautiful and that's where you're gonna find those very nice homes. You also have Mohawk College nearby if you're a student, so you can live close to the school if you're going there as well which is also convenient for the families if one of your kids are going to the post-secondary school, you have that right in your backyard with McMaster and Mohawk. Now let's talk about Central Hamilton. This is one I get asked about all the time. And the reason for it is because there are pockets in Central Hamilton where they're not so safe and there are pockets in Central Hamilton which are safe. Now those could be about 10, 15 minutes away from each other. So a lot of people do ask me about this because of those reasons. Now here's the truth when it comes to Central Hamilton. The closer you are to the industrial sector, the less of a safer environment it does get. Barton Street might not be the area for you. However, it is the most affordable neighborhood in Hamilton, Ontario, but being close to that industrial sector does cause some problems, such as noise from all the manufacturing going on and the pollution. And in central Hamilton, you will also see a lot of those older Victorian style homes, those two and a half story homes with the attics. 
I personally think they're absolutely beautiful. They have so much character to them. And a lot of people do love those houses. They look like they're straight out of a movie set. Some of them are over 100 years old, over 50 years old. So if you are going to buy one of those homes, I would highly recommend you make sure you do get a home inspection, even if it looks like it's super well renovated because you could get that home flipper that you know cuts corners and just makes it look nice, but there are some issues with that house. These homes though are absolutely stunning stunning and I'm not gonna lie I do personally love them myself and if you are looking for homes like that you might want to choose a neighborhood like Corktown now when it comes to East Hamilton this is also another area that families do choose and the reason for this is because of the home affordability it's very affordable to live over there and there are some nice neighborhoods in that area such as the Rosedale neighborhood which is popular for many reasons like the home affordability and the homes that it has tucked up close to the Red Hill Valley for easy commutes. You also have Delta and Crown Point, which are popular because they're close to Gage Park. And these areas have seen a big influx of young couples and families that are looking to move to Hamilton, Ontario for the home affordability reasons, and rent is also fairly good in that area as well. So when it comes to Hamilton, Ontario, and you choosing the area that's best for you to buy a house or rent, you really want to boil down what your lifestyle is like. If you like that hustle and bustle, if you're looking for a family-friendly neighborhood where there's good schools and other families and young kids nearby, if you're looking to be closer to the major public transit or the LRT that's coming to Hamilton, Ontario soon, and of course, what is within your affordability. Now currently today, the average cost to buy a home in Hamilton, Ontario is just over $750,000, but if you choose the right area, you can get a home for a lot less. You see condos starting in the $400,000 range, freehold houses starting in the $500,000 range. And of course, if you're looking for a more luxurious home on the Hamilton Mountain or one of those new build areas, then of course you would be paying more for your home. But the beautiful thing is Hamilton has a price point for everybody and that's something that I talk about a lot and that's why so many people are moving to Hamilton Ontario because there's a wide variety in rental prices and a wide variety in home prices if you're looking to purchase and I am a licensed real estate agent here in Hamilton Ontario so if you are looking for average costs for these neighborhoods or if you want to discuss what might be best for you and the lifestyle that you live so you can help pick the neighborhood that fits all of your criteria just shoot me an email send me a text or give me a call I'll put my information down below and I look forward to chatting with you guys and helping you with your move to Hamilton Ontario